it's you or me. I've never lost a showdown yet. Yeehaw! I'm going to die, that's for sure. <coughs> Let me make the most of my last moments. Rangu's ill. Hey, look at this. For oh, goodness <laughs> sake, Guron, what are you, are you going to do? Calm down, Darcy. It's just a cold. Rangu always dramatizes. Hey, I've got a dragon fruit. So what? You've got some fruit? Can't you see that it's the end? Rangu's going to die. Die! No, no, he's dramatizing. He's dramatizing! <coughs> I can't breathe. <coughs> <coughs> hey, look at my dragon fruit. I picked it all on my own by chopping off an enormous branch. Oh, sorry. We are in a hurry. Next time, Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, look at my dragon fruit. I picked it all by my... Uh, uh, uh. Huh? Hey, everyone look. Yeehaw! Is that why you woke us up? For some fruit? Uh, yes. Hmm. Uh, unless... Uh, no, 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 no. It's because I fell ill. <coughs> you must have caught a cold. <sighs> Apparently, there's lots about at the moment. But my nose hurts, too. Uh, <coughs> my nose is blocked. I can't smell anything, and I'm all hot. Very, very hot. Oh, yes, yes, yes. You're very, very hot? <laughs> I'd better examine you. I wouldn't want you to have a tropical fever. A what? A cough and a blocked nose. Sweating. Unfortunately, Ricky, you have a tropical fever. How serious is a tropical fever, Baloo? It's not dangerous if we treat it, and it's not contagious either. Ricky must have been stung by a parasite. Great! Um, everything's fine then. I can go and eat my fruit. <laughs> I said it isn't dangerous if we treat it. We'll have to go and fetch some ginkgo biloba from the top of the Forbidden Mountain. The Forbidden Mountain? You mean... The one that's forbidden for all animals because it's too dangerous? You must be crazy. Tough diseases need tough remedies. Let's go. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I'll wait for you here. It'll be uh, easier without me. I feel so weak. Oh. What about your fever? Come on, you're coming with us. We've got to keep an eye on you. Master! Master! <coughs> oh, my nose is so blocked, I didn't even smell you coming. I know how to cure you, Master. Speak louder or come closer. I can't hear a thing. The mongoose is ill, just like you. It's a tropical fever. Baloo and Mowgli are going to cure him at the top of the Forbidden Mountain. If we follow them, you could get the medicine to... Eat the bad cup. That'd be cure straight away. <laughs> That's right. Thanks to whom? Oh. Wait for me! Ah! Ah! I've got you. I lied! I lied! I felt so stupid about waking you up that I made the whole thing up! The cough, the blocked nose, the fever! It's fear that's making you say strange things. You'd have to be absolutely mad to simulate a tropical fever. Uh, no! <laughs> it's the fever. I'm delirious. Ah! 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 <laughs> Don't be scared, Ricky. Unless it's the fever that's making you shake. This won't take me long. We'll soon be back down at the bottom. <sighs> Don't tell me that you're ready to forget about the man cub because of a bit of wood stretched over a hole. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> 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 
Do you always meow like a poor little kitten when you're scared, Master? My preparation's ready! Oh, that smells great! It can be very bad for the health if you take a remedy when you're not ill. Right, I'm cured. We can go home now. <laughs> it burns. I don't get it, Baloo. Your preparation was supposed to cure him, not make him suffer. <laughs> My throat feels like it's on fire. The ginkgo biloba's working. It's a normal reaction. Why did you do that to me? Oh, I'm ill now because of you. I'm ill. I'm ill. I'm ill. Because of us. <laughs> hmm. Ricky's delirious with the fever. We must wait until my remedy works. What if Mowgli was right and you made a mistake, Baloo? No illness gets the better of me. We'll go down by the north face. I'm not beaten yet. That's sure to be Baloo's remedy. Ah, oh, it burns! <laughs> I feel better. I feel my throat clearing. And my nose, too. Right. Now the man cub is mine. Now the man cub is ours. <laughs> ah! Ah! It burns! Oh, oh, I'm melting like honey in the sun! Ah! Ah! You must have made a mistake, Baloo. Ricky should be cured by now. Or I feel sick now. <laughs> A cough and a blocked nose and a high temperature means a tropical fever. To treat it, I've used ginkgo biloba and some accompanying herbs. I've always done it like that. Even the best sometimes make mistakes, Baloo. I know. I need to add some bitter limes from the Lost Island. That's even more dangerous than the Forbidden Mountain. It's next to the human settlement. I'm not going to the human settlement. Look, I'm feeling better already. <laughs> Oh, well, almost. Hurry up! I'm, I'm, I'm feeling sick. I'm not going to miss the man cub because of you. Oh, no. Stop, stop, stop! I've been pretending to be ill to get some attention. That must be why the remedies <coughs> aren't working on me. And the fever's making you talk nonsense. You wouldn't really have done something as stupid as pretending to be ill, because if you did, then it's the plants that made you ill. Uh, yes, no. Oh, I'm so hot. Oh. <laughs> wow, that's the Lost Island? It's fantastic. I've been cured, thanks to your remedies, my dear Baloo. So well that I'm as hungry as a tiger. So now I'm going to eat the man cubs. <laughs> Humans! It's <laughs> 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 all my fault. If I hadn't lied to you, I'm sorry. So, you really did pretend to be ill. Wait, Ricky. You pretended to be ill, you took the remedies, which made you ill, so now you are ill and therefore... That's it! The bitter limes could cure you! I'm in no fit state. That stings. But this time I feel much better. I'm cured. Yeah! I wonder which part of your body I'll start with, man cub. What do you think, Tabaki? Uh, what? A, a wing? <coughs> Blue, Bagheera, wake up! Ah! It's the end for you, man cub. <coughs> <coughs> Wait for me, Master! I promise never to pretend to be ill again. I just wanted some attention. Hmm. And to think that I nearly doubted your knowledge, Baloo. <laughs> <laughs> it stings! When is it going to stop? <laughs> Meow! <laughs> <laughs>
Three big fish, what fishing skill? Bagheera and Baloo will be able to eat their fill. Smell that? That's better than Baggy's breath, isn't it? It was Car who did that. Car? But why? I don't know. Besides, I didn't want him to do the same thing to me. What's this all about? Why has Car hypnotised them? Car! Car? Are you looking for the Master too? Uh, no. I'm looking for Car. Master Car? Yes. We're looking for him as well. The Master gives us lessons, but he's disappeared. Mrs. Gargini must have done something she shouldn't have. You're having lessons with Car? What kind of lessons? And what for? Gajini, would you like to tell the man cub why you are taking lessons in hypnosis? Oh, uh, yes. That's because I have difficulty in saying um, when things upset me. Oh, it's so hot! Spray my feathers a bit, Gajini. In hot weather, water's great for the feathers. Stop! Now you must dry me with a palm leaf. But, um, you, um... With a... Oh, bother. I forgot him. Well, what a shy little elephant we've got here. <laughs> That's stupid. If I'm consulting Master Car, it's for something much more serious. Hey, Baloo, come closer so I can give you a special Bella massage. Oh, he doesn't want me to scratch his back. Perhaps you should be a bit gentler. Gentler? What for? <laughs> You think that's funny? Stop it, both of you! Baloo and Bagheera have been hypnotized by your master. They're frozen to the spot and at the mercy of any danger. Imagine if Shere Khan was prowling around. Why didn't you say so before? Yes, we've got to find Car. We're, We're going, going with you. Please tickle me. You haven't come across Car by any chance. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Master Cause made this crocodile as gentle as a panda. It's elephantastic. It's elephant foolish. Why bother changing Jakala's personality? You want to change your personality to please Baloo, don't you? Haven't you two finished? We've got to find Car. And you're going into raptures about nothing. <laughs> uh, yes, but you. Uh... Do you do this with Car? Always quarreling about nothing? I must admit that we did sometimes quarrel a little bit. And I think that Bella told him, um... I told him that he was hopeless as a hypnotist. You told him that he was the worst hypnotist in the jungle. Ha! <laughs> yes, he must have liked that. That's when he threatened to show us just what he could do. Well done. Congratulations. Hello, my friends. I hope I'm not disturbing you. Oh! Well, well, it looks like you can't move. How strange and how interesting. <laughs> Car! 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 <laughs> Maybe she's going to ask you for a massage. Well, she's not, not likely to ask you with your natural gentleness. I could maybe help you, Mowgli. Help me to do what? You forget everything all the time. I don't forget anything. I just met Carr and he seemed on top form. We had a good chat. You remember everything? Of course I do. Why do you ask? She's been hypnotized by Carr too. Hmm? Master Carr gave her her memory back. Ha! Huh. What a waste of time and energy. Then maybe you know where Carr is? Of course I know where he is. Come on! Shere Khan? Master? Are you there? Master, I've got some great news for you. Darzi, could you go and see if Baloo and Bagheera are all right? They're defenseless and... Here I go! Car, come on, wake up! You've got to bring Baloo and Bagheera back to normal now! Shh! You're disturbing me, man-cub, just when I'm exhausted. Ah, you must be tired. You've hypnotised half the jungle. I'm the best. 
Baloo and Bagheera can't do anything to stop us. They're out of order. Mowgli's at your mercy now, or rather, at our mercies. Deep. 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 It's not fair of you to make fun of me. I'm your faithful servant. You're right. Let's go and finish with the bear and the panther first. <laughs> Come on, Carr. That's enough. It's not funny anymore. You know how dangerous the jungle is. Baloo and Bagheera are just like two tree stumps. They can't move and can't defend themselves. I could do it, but there would be a certain condition. Uh, what? Get rid of my two students. Gargini and Bella? They're the reason I did all that. I thought I was going crazy. Me, the jungle's greatest hypnotist, being called incompetent by these two chatterboxes who never stop talking. Me, the great car. All right. I'll find some way of making them leave you in peace. It's not funny. You know my weakness and you always use it against me. Come on, it was only a joke. Ah, you found our master. Quick, quick, quick! Shere Khan is going to get Baloo and Bagheera! What did I tell you? They're in danger! Get a move on! I'm going back to see if I can do anything! Couldn't you help us instead of just talking? Oh, get a grip on yourself, Master! They might wake up! You'll get there quicker with me, Master Carr! Ah! And if you like, we can talk about hypnosis on the way. I'm a bit lost. Oh, Baloo and Baggy are in danger and you get us lost. <laughs> Superb statues. <laughs> it was stupid to do that to Baloo. If you want me to wake them, you'd better change your attitude. <laughs> Who are you to talk about attitude? <laughs> Keep your strength for my friend Shere Khan, Bella. He's just over there. I can't see the slightest sign of a tiger stripes. Mm -hmm. That is, unless he's changed into a palm leaf. But he's just there. Shere Khan, are you coming? Lunch is served. Ow! Car, please go on. You're the greatest hypocrite, uh, hypnotist. Oh. Chip, chip. I can't believe it. You mustn't stay there. You've got to come and attack them. Chip, 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 chip. It's up to you now. Baloo, my love. My friend. Wake up. Baloo! They said you loved me. Can it be true? <laughs> Hey, Master, it's a disaster. The bear's waking up. Shere Khan, Master, you've got to come now. I'm going to look really silly when everything had gone perfectly for once. Jeep, jeep, jeep. Jeep, jeep, jeep. Don't move. We're coming. <laughs> Sorry about all that, but this time, here he is. Shere Khan. If Shere Khan comes to see us, he'll be like a sparrow. I hypnotized him too. Jip, 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 jip. <laughs> so you think you're a bird, do you? So, you see, for Bella and Baloo, hypnosis works. Well, then what have you been doing? I've been flying all over the jungle, telling everyone about all this. Would you fan me with your ears, Gajini? I'm so hot! <laughs> I ran a lot as well, and I deserve to be fanned myself, Darcy. But I don't go and land on your head. Uh, yes, you're right. That wouldn't be a good idea. <laughs> Well done, Gajini. I think you're cured now. Thank you for everything, Master Carr. We don't really need to take lessons with you anymore, so we're going to stop. That's excellent news. Hey, you've got to wake up Bagheera. You'll have to wake up all the other animals in the jungle who've suffered from your bad mood, too. If that's what you want, but it seems a shame. 
Still, all the jungle knows that I'm Car the Greatest. <laughs> <laughs> Food, cheap, cheap, and be quick about it. Dip, dip. <laughs> It's saw and my dose is running. Ow! I'm tired of listening to you sniveling. Stop it! I'm hungry. Go and fetch me something to eat. But I can't. I can't smell a thing and I'm buzzing in my ears like a whole hive of bees. Bzz. Honey! Baloo! He could cure me! That's right. Go and beg Baloo for a cure, you wimp. You really have no self-respect at all. Have you seen these? What's the matter with these mini bananas? It's even worse than I thought. You know that several swarms of wild bees have disappeared. Really? So it's bees who make fruit? That's new. Come on, don't be silly. You know that it's the pollen that bees transport from flower to flower that allows the fruit to develop. Yes, yeah, sorry. I didn't mean it. I'm just upset by the whole thing. Oh, I can't smell anything anymore. I need some honey. Well, hello to you too, Tabaki. I see you've got a heavy cold. Oh. That's nothing serious. I've just what you need. So it seems there are no more bees. Good riddance. I hate being stung. But don't you understand anything? No more bees means no more honey. Huh? What do you mean, no more honey? What about my cure? We're not bothered about your cure! Without bees, you won't have any honey at all! So if you keep on talking nonsense like that, you'll have your cold for a long time to come! Is there anything wrong? The honey stocks have gone right down. We really must get some more. Uh, come down, Tabaki. There's enough for you. Let's go and find out where the bees have gone! Can we go to the hive? Where well, there's my favorite mulberry bush? Please! Ba -ta -ta. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ki -ki. It's crazy. I was really ill and suddenly I'm like new again. Thanks, Baloo. I'll leave you now and say hello to the hive for me. La la la. <laughs> hmm. Oh no! My mulberry bush! It's a disaster! It should have been covered in berries, shouldn't it? For the love of a bear! It's even worse than I imagined! Hmm. Oh, listen to this! Ta-ta, Baba, Kiki! <laughs> I'm cured! Stop, you fool! You've given me your germs! Because of you, I can't eat anything! And my throat is on fire! Do you think that I'm going to crawl to Baloo like you and beg for some honey? Me? Shere Khan! Ah, uh, no. Besides, he's gone away to get some more honey. Hey, I saw where they were going. Now, I've got my sense of smell back. I could find the spot and bring you back some honey. What do you think? Ow! Sure, and you're going to bring it back in your little paws. Is that it, idiot? I'll get you for this. I've got to eat. I've no choice. I need that honey. You've got to take me to that bee's nest now. No! No! My bee's nest! I've been taking great care of this nest. Where have the bees gone? And who made them leave? Look at these claw marks. Those certainly aren't yours. Oh, no. You're not going to like this. It's the old queen! Hmm. You taught me that there is always the larva of a queen ready to be born. Of course. You're right. Look for a cell that's bigger than the others. Honey, honey, honey. There are no honeycombs with larvae. There's nothing here, but all is not lost. We'll have to check every bee's nest in the area. What's that? They look like droppings. A badger? Oh, oh jeez! I'm going to tell that badger a thing or two. I can't believe it. Where's all the honey gone? <laughs> mm, delicious. Do you think that the bees have found refuge here? It's not that simple. 
A few bees do not make a nest. You must have a queen. For the love of a bear, what a disaster! And not before time, get me out of here! Not so fast. Was it you who destroyed all the bees' nests? So what? You're not the only one who likes honey. Now I can't get out. My burrow shrunk. <laughs> Are you going to get me out of here or not? All right. I wanted a nest all of my own, so I took a honeycomb with some lava. Yes, to make a nest work, you need workers. What's the matter with that? And the honeycomb is still in the burrow, is that it? With the workers outside? You glutton! If the bees can't enter, they can't make honey or feed the larvae. Blah, 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 blah! You can't think of everything. I like sweet things. So what? At first, my little honey factory worked well. So you taste some, and then a bit more, and soon you're stuck in your burrow. In that case, stay there. Do you realize that you're endangering the entire forest? No. We've got to free him. I'll explain. You aren't affected by bee stings, so only you can recover the swarm. There! With all that pollen, no bee will be able to resist you. They'll follow you to the ends of the earth. For the love of a bee! That's amazing! If the future queen is at the bottom of the burrow, and you find the hive, maybe the bees will be able to create a new colony? Your trap's working really well. It looks like the bee's trying to say something. That's how they communicate between themselves. If she follows me into the forest, she might attract one of the missing swarms. Well, you're taking your time. Have you understood? You find out where Baloo's going to put the new bee's nest, I'll deal with Mowgli. And when my throat is better... <laughs> I'll swallow him whole. More to the left! Not the jungle's best digger, are you? <laughs> Ow! My throat! Listen, Glutton, is there a bit of honey left at the bottom of your burrow by any chance? <laughs> when you're hungry enough. Ha-ha! <laughs> 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 there you are! Where did you get to? Ah, ah, oh, 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 oh. What are you doing here? Are you alone? Tell me, where's Shere Khan? Oh, oh, tell them to go away. Shere Khan's at Hajit's burrow. We just wanted some honey for his throat. Mowgli's in danger. We're going back to Hajit. You'd better run if you don't want to be stung. What's that noise? How do I know? Maybe it's the larva who are fed up of eating honey. <laughs> Maybe it's the queen hatching out. Get out of the way. Hey, mind what you're doing. Don't forget this is my burrow. You're taking up all the room. Shere Khan, the day has not dawned when you will catch Mowgli. <laughs> Are you just going to let the swarm and its new queen go? How are we going to find them again? Let's let them establish a new colony first. Then we'll go and look for them. When you've stopped playing about, get me out of here! 
Just a minute, Hajit stays where he is. I feel that he needs some time to think things over. Don't worry, and I'm sure that the glutton isn't hungry. Are you, Hajit? You'll be able to leave your burrow in a couple of days. You'll have lots of time to think about the consequences of your incredible selfishness. Is he serious? As serious as a fantastic bear can be. <laughs> Yes. After two days of napping, a little stretch does you good. <laughs> Hang on tight. This one's going to be even better. <laughs> that was great, wasn't it, Car? Car? You're all swollen up, just where you've squashed the berries from the bush. Brown berries? D quick, get them off of me! S <sighs> That's a bit better. It had to happen one day. You know what it is? An allergy to brown berries. It runs in my family. My father had it when he was young. Did he get better? Of course he did. He'd never have met my mother if he looked like a puffed up toad. <laughs> <coughs> So you just have to use the same cure as your father, then? You're right. I'll do that right away. Uh, what is the cure for that? Mm, it's nothing, really. I just have to eat a tiger. <gasps> Car, wait! You can't! That's cruel! <laughs> and making silly wheezing noises when you breathe isn't, I suppose? Move out of the way! You'd better not hurt Chota. Chota's much too small. Ah! The cure might not work. I'm going to eat Shere Khan. Uh. Uh. Tabaki! Oh. Yes, Master? I'm hungry. Go and catch me some game. Shere Khan! I've got to tell you something, Shere Khan. Ah! <laughs> You are my enemy, but I would never wish to see you dead. So I'm warning you that Carr is on his way here to eat you. Cursed Python. What's the matter with him? <laughs> it's all because we were swinging over some brown berries. <laughs> Do you think he'll hiss more if we squeeze him? <laughs> Try it. You'll get a surprise. <laughs> you ought to leave, Shere Khan. Even with his allergy, Car could still be stronger than you. Shere Khan is afraid of no one. Why is everyone so stubborn? You're just like Baloo. That's it. Baloo! Mowgli's gone. You're not going to go too, are you, Shere Khan? Think about it, Jackal. If Kaa is weakened, it's a perfect opportunity for getting rid of him. We'll wait and ambush him. You? Make a sneak attack? Oh, well done, Master. <laughs> <laughs> Is Shere Khan? I know. It's completely crazy. You know all about remedies, Baloo. I'm sure you could find some way of treating Car. It's just that I've never come across this allergy to brown berries before. I'm sorry, Mowgli. Do you remember Chapal the stag? He was allergic to red berries and you cured him with banyan leaves. It must be the same allergy. I've got to find a banyan tree before Car finds Shere Khan. Mowgli, wait! Red berries and brown berries are not the same thing, Bagheera. What's more, you don't cure a python the way you cure a stag. I'm sorry, Baloo. Don't worry. I'll catch up with Mowgli. And I'll try to find a remedy. Mowgli! Bali, Bala, I've got to see Akela immediately. They've all gone goat hunting. Mowgli! Akila! 
Aquila! This is maybe good goat country, but it's not good for bears. Tabaki, what's keeping you? Here it is, Master. <laughs> An allergy to brown berries? No, Baloo. The wolves have never come across that before. I'll have to go and see Hattie. He's my last hope. <laughs> Onion leaves. They'll cure you. Eat plants? You must be crazy, man cub. But they're good for you. And you wouldn't have to take the life of an animal. Mowgli, stop! Baloo says that's not the right remedy, but he's gone to find the correct one. <laughs> I know the real remedy. A tiger and a mouthful of water. We'll try and delay him until Baloo finds the remedy. A snake? Swellings? Yes, that reminds me of something. Oh yes, a snake bit my trunk once and it all swelled up. Hmm, don't look like that. I go over it. It was only a skinny little snake, you know. It would have been different had it been a cobra. A cobra? Why didn't I think of that sooner? There! I look ridiculous. It's only pollen. It'll wash off in the river. Come on, we've got to hurry. Better and better. I hate getting wet in the river. Done, Bagheera. Venerable Do, it's only me, Baloo. You wouldn't happen to know a remedy for a python who's got an allergy to brown berries by any chance? Yes, of course. It's very common amongst snakes. To treat it, you need a tiger. And I thought that there must be some other way rather than eating a tiger. Who said anything about eating a tiger? Are you looking for me, you big maggot? Come and get me then. to annoy me, man-cub. <laughs> let me go! Get lost, jackal! As if I was scared of a... <laughs> Give us one of your claws. Never! It's the real remedy for the allergy, Mowgli. You just need a tiger's claw. It's time to see if my claw really is a lucky one. I can breathe. Thank you, Mowgli. 
if I'd known that a claw was just enough. I'm glad I could help you, Carr. Even if I did lose my lucky claw. Oh, that? That's not a problem. I hate water, but that was for a good cause. Look! My new lucky claw, and it's all thanks to Carr. It's a nice tender deer, Master. You're going to have a feast. Ow! 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 Oh! Your technique for immobilizing it was useless. If I were you, I'd avoid talking about technique. You may be forgotten that you were supposed to be diverting his attention. Silence, you <laughs> fools. You and your pathetic traps that never work. Your stupid plans and your idiotic ambushes. I really must protest. The other day you had a nice chubby field mouse because of us. That's right. Disappear. <laughs> I don't want to see you around here ever again. Why didn't you say something? There was nothing to say. You're useless and he's finished. Ah, I'm sorry. Mr. Kalu is oh so intelligent, oh so crafty, and oh so good at tying up deer. Don't go on about it. Anyway, there's nothing much to be got out of Shere Khan now. That's just what I think. You know what we should do? We should find another master. I agree with you for once. <laughs> If want him to accept to be our master, we've got to be subtle. Hey, do you, do you want, want to be, be our master? master? Do, do you? you? Go, go on, on, say yes. yes. Go, go on, go, go on. on. Hey, calm down, both of you. What's happened? Have you lost Shere Khan? Uh, no, Shere Khan's ancient history. We had to get rid of him. <laughs> you see, we've got ambition. We want to work with the real Lord of the Jungle. Somebody like you. <gasps> Well, maybe you'll find someone like me, but it won't be me. Bye! Did you see how quickly his brain works? He makes a decision just like that in two seconds. Yeah, except he didn't want us. No one said it was going to be easy. <laughs> Without you. Shere Khan must have fired them again, and now they can't look out for themselves. Poor things. I must be dreaming. You're not feeling sorry for them. But they beg so well. I could give them a bit of a hand. That's not a good idea. One, two, three. Right, now we're working for you. Tell us what you'd like. Uh. For example, Shere Khan wanted simple things. Bucks, deer, you, uh, uh, I mean, and you? I don't really know. I'll leave it up to you. Whatever you want. Some big game, maybe. Excellent idea, Master! <laughs> There's no point making a weapon, Master. I found exactly what you wanted. Specimen, isn't he? We told him that there was some nice, juicy, fresh grass to eat over here. Now you just have to kill and eat him. Go on, Master. You're the greatest. You'll get him. Done. Oh, we were right to choose you as our master. In fact, would you mind if we started first? <laughs> ah! Ah! Help! You should have told us that he wasn't dead. <laughs> Tell 
tell me that those two idiots didn't put you in danger? It's not their fault. They thought they were doing the right thing. It's sure that a buffalo isn't the easiest animal to catch. A buffalo? You really must stop seeing them. It's not our fault if the buffalo was angry. We can't let him leave like that. He's the master we need. Don't worry, I've had another idea. <laughs> Will you give us another chance? You like honey, don't you? You've got some honey? <laughs> Nearly. Kalu's up there, and he's going to knock down a bee's nest that's at the top, and then you'll just have to tuck in. No, wait. Those aren't bees. They're wasps! <laughs> It's a good job you can run fast, Master. Yes, isn't it? And what are you going to give me now? I have, I've had a mad buffalo and furious wasps. Shere Khan, maybe? We'll give him Sheer Khan. What's more, I'll be curious to see our old master's reaction when the new one eats him. Right, we just have to hide the lasso under some leaves, and then when Sheer Khan walks on it... Oh, 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 he'll be hung upside down at our master's mercy. You must be really naive. You don't think Sheer Khan's going to fall for such a crude trap? Oh, yes, you don't know the whole story. Sheer Khan's not the tiger he used to be. He's put on some weight lately. He got used to us doing everything for him. He's gone soft and can't do much now. <laughs> Trust us one last time. Hide and we'll go and get him. Uh-oh. I don't think that's a good idea. Mowgli, where are you? Answer us immediately! Master! Master! Master. Master. Manga! Khan! Oh, I should have guessed it from the beginning. They've trapped me! Who are you talking about? Your accomplices, Tabaki and Kalu! <laughs> Do you really think I need them to trap you? No, Mowgli. I found you by myself. The great Shere Khan is back! Master? <laughs> are you talking to me? This wasn't my fault. I told him that you were great enough, uh, magnificent enough. I see. So apparently, you're looking for a new master. Miserable worm! You have forgotten who Shere Khan is? We can explain everything. <laughs> Discuss that when I've dealt with your new master. Sorry, Shere Khan, but you'll have to find another prey. You two are just so... <laughs> See, I can make traps that work. Let me down, you fool! Haha, <laughs> congratulations, Tabaki. You're really smart. Oh, uh, what are you doing? I'm just saying well done. You've done a good job. What's he talking about? You've been resourceful and efficient, so I'm complimenting you. A master doesn't flatter his servants. That's not the way it's done. Shekon's a good master. He knows what to do. He never says nice things. It's ill-mannered. Come on. I think we'll leave them alone together. Yes, good idea. We don't want anything to do with a nice... Uh, a nice little master who thanks us. We'll free you, master. It was a mistake. We got it all wrong. 
And you're going to understand just how wrong. What? What are you going to do to us? You should rather be asking what I'm not going to do to you. <laughs> Keep calm, Master. We'll go and find you some new prey. Buffalo, for example. You do like buffalo. Mm, I could eat some nice, fresh mangoes. Baloo, Bagheera, would you like to fetch me some? Of course, Master. <laughs> Enjoy, Master. Would you like anything else? Rooms <laughs> <laughs> are excellent for making your fur shiny. I don't think Mowgli's fur needs any, Bellu. What I need is something against mosquito bites. They're really vicious in this cave. That's the advantage of having fur. We've got enough, Bagheera. And I've had enough of these bugs. Mowgli! I I'm sorry. It was because of the mosquitoes. They really are the worst species in the jungle. No, Mowgli. Mosquitoes are very useful in the jungle because birds and bats eat them. You must learn to tolerate them. Anyway, the worst species is the crocodile because no one eats them. Hmm, maybe, Bagheera, but crocodiles eat carcasses which would pollute the rivers, so they're useful too. Wait, I know. The worst species is the tiger. Especially Shere Khan. No, no, the tiger isn't the worst species. So, who is then? The worst species is... A human! No, it's not. It's just a monkey. I don't want to hurt you, Mowgli, but the worst species is man. They are no use to the jungle and frighten everyone with their guns. That's true. When they've got guns, even Shere Khan's scared of them. Well, it's not exactly clean in here. You're a Langa, a Himalayan monkey. What are you doing so far from your mountains? I'm looking for a warm place where my tribe could spend the winter. It's much too cold in our mountains at the moment. We certainly won't be coming here. It smells of rotten mushrooms. And it's full of mosquitoes. My thoughts exactly. Do you know a suitable place? I suppose that's asking too much of wild animals. <sighs> yes, of course. Come with me. It's this way. Are all langurs as pretentious as he is? What's your name? Kafal. This is Baloo, Bagheera, and... Yes, yes, whatever. Uh, I hope your place isn't far away. I've never seen that fruit before. What is it? A Himalayan pear. There are lots of them back at home. That's what we eat. Mm, mm. That looks good. Can we taste it? I doubt that you have a fine enough palate to appreciate it. Uh. Mm. Oh, yes. Mm, it's delicious. Of course it's delicious. A langur doesn't eat just anything. Ooh, a langur doesn't eat just anything. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. <laughs> there it is! You'll see. You can find shelter inside. Good idea, Mowgli. What could be more natural than a monkey living with other monkeys? Other monkeys? Mm -hmm. oh. What on earth is this rubbish dump? <laughs> 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 Savages. Monkeys. Like you. I'm the boss around here. It's mine. <laughs> but Marsha, that's not a hat. It's a vase. <laughs> My tribe would never live in a tip like this with those primates. Ah, who's he to talk about living here? This is our home and we don't want to share it. Oh. May I, Kafal? I see you already have. Taste this, Marsha. Oh? <laughs> That's so 
good. Um, if the tribe of Langas come here, it will just be for the winter, and they'll bring lots of those with them. Hmm. 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 You'll give them a few of your pairs if the place is clean and tidy, won't you? It's either that or the cave with the mosquitoes that smells of rot. <sighs> I imagine that we can share our pairs, but only if everything is really clean. Okay, we'll tidy up this little mess and in exchange... I say, stop that! <laughs> Is that all you can do? What? Do you want us to build you a palace or something? There's still lots of earth. It's intolerable. What? <gasps> the ground's made of earth. We can't do anything about that. Our jungle's not made for these pretentious langurs. You're right, Bagheera. Are you coming, Mowgli? Not yet. Well, the monkey's place is clean. That's something, at least. Mowgli's wasting his time with that langur. Mowgli, a langur. I won't be wasting my time with them. <coughs> Kafal, you've got to be tolerant. You won't find a better place than here. <coughs> you can't even have a quiet nap now? <laughs> I am not staying in this rubbish dump a moment longer. Well, why don't you go and see what the crocodiles can do for you? Tut tut. Stay oh. here. I love langurs as a starter. <laughs> <laughs> Where we can hide. Push it with me, quick! I can smell fresh meat in there. Sorry, Shere Khan, you're on a diet today. Hmm. It's very untidy in here. Hey there, Mr. Perfect. Instead of criticizing, don't you ever say thanks when someone saves your life? That depends. Is there another way out of here? Well, uh, no. Ha <laughs> I heard that. I've got plenty of time, and I won't leave you here all alone. You had it. If I were a man, and luckily I am one, I would have made a hidden exit. <laughs> Found it! We're saved! Now, we've got to get rid of Shere Khan. <laughs> don't know much about human treasure, do you, Marsha? That one does go on your head. <laughs> you want to be like a human, but you'll never be anything but a poor ape. <laughs> <laughs> Looking like a human. That's how we'll get rid of Shere Khan. This fruit's delicious. Still forgotten those manners, eh? How delicious. Thank you, Marsha. Uh, don't mention it. There, you're friends now. The two of you are going to make a great human. Do you think it's enough just to wear human things? Shere Khan will see that it's us. Not if we cloud the issue a little. Majesty, 
I found some tiger tracks. Humans? He can't get away from us. Fire at will. Wretched humans. <laughs> Mr. Perfect, you see, dust can be useful. I'll be back as soon as I've spoken to my tribe with a whole stock of Himalayan pear. Oh! 